my name is Aaron Hill. I teach oboe at the University of Wisconsin-Madison Mead Witter School of Music. Today I'd like to talk about the most basic warm-up that I like to do to start a day. This warm-up tells me if my reed's responsive enough. It tells me if I'm using enough air to get low notes out coming from anywhere on the instrument. All of it is based around doing an upward C scale and from any part of the C major chord being able to slur all the way down to low C and still have the note respond. I'm going to show you part by part. So first, going up just to the E above low C. Simple enough. Going to the G above that. Then to make it a little more complicated, going to the C above that, which will tell you if your Pulcinella Serenata is going to work that day. Then going to the E above that, the complication that gets introduced is the fact that it tends sharp on a lot of oboes, and in the major chord, the major third is supposed to go a little bit flat of the equal temperament pitch. So I'm going to have to try to keep this E down and slur down to the low C. And for the G above that, just like how a major third needs to be narrow, a perfect fifth needs to be slightly wide of the equal temperament pitch, so I'll try to keep the G up to pitch, but still have an open enough face to get the low C out. And then finally, going all the way up to the high C. Uh, the high C is a note that I don't like to think of as tending sharp or tending flat. I like to think of it as a very honest note that if you're pinching, it goes very sharp, and if you're too loose, it goes very flat. So if the high C is in tune with the low C, it's a good sign that you're probably doing the right things with your embouchure. And now, as a finale, I'd like to go through the whole warm-up in one breath, trying to go from each note to the next. Now, oftentimes when I try that, one of the low C's doesn't come out. Let's say, for instance, the E didn't work. If the E didn't slur down to low C cleanly, what I would do is then try to iron it out and get it five times in a row before proceeding, like so. And then once I can do the entire warm-up confidently, I know that I'm ready to play almost anything that's going to come up in the literature. I have a more complicated warm-up that I'll be sharing with you in a future video, but in the meantime, enjoy this one. Thanks very much for joining me.